Hello and welcome to Piano Shack with me, Woody. Now, some of you may be wondering why the channel is called Woody Piano Shack, yet we don't have a piano. Well, that's about to change. I've been looking for a used piano since I started the channel, and now one has come up in the area at the right price. It's in the other room. We're gonna go check it out in a minute. Also, we'll do a quick review of the instrument and I'll do one of my infamous hardware versus software shootouts. Yes, we'll compare my piano with a native instrument's sample library. Okay, the piano is in the other room next to the fire. Let's go check it out. Okay, so there you have it next to the fire. This is a compact piano. They call them cocktail pianos or sometimes cabaret pianos. It's actually a lot bigger than it looks on the camera. This is due to the barrel distortion of this wide angled lens. You guys don't know much about that because you don't shoot as many videos as I do. But what we're gonna do is put it up on the table over there so you can get a good look at it. I'll change the lens as well so we don't get this distortion. Also, it's slightly small for me. I'm quite a big guy, and this is made for vertically challenged people. But by putting it on the table, I think it'll be okay. Yeah, yeah I, I was lying, but I think I got away with that. As you can clearly see, this is a Beckstein upright piano. And what we're gonna do now is a quick review of the build quality and the action. This thing is really solid. There is absolutely no flex whatsoever on this. It's built like a tank and it really does weigh quite a lot as well, which is fabulous. Let me just go to the kitchen and get something and we'll just verify that this is indeed made of metal. Okay, so I've got myself a fridge magnet. Let's check this out. Watch this, guys. Okay, let's check the action then. Oh, oh dear, right away I'm noticing I don't like the hinges on these black keys. They are very close to the top of the keys, making it extremely difficult to play advanced jazz voicings and any classical piano pieces in the black keys. Otherwise though, it's pretty decent with very nice responsiveness and really great dynamics. Listen to this. Oh, I'm also hearing some really nice string resonance there as well. I don't know if that's coming across on the microphone here. Yeah, let me just point out, I'm also using a lavalier microphone, so you are hearing this instrument in mono right now. But what we'll do later in the video is connect it to my Zoom digital audio recorder so you can really hear it in the best possible quality. Polyphony, I'm happy to report, is, is quite a lot. Let's just check the inputs and the outputs, shall we? What I really like is how they've hidden them into the piano. They've disguised them to keep this discreet appearance of a real acoustic piano. Underneath here we have the soundboard, but I don't see USB. How am I supposed to do firmware updates? is actually pretty nice. It's got a DX7 bell-like quality to it. But as you can probably hear, I'm struggling to play this one because of the mini keys. Yes, it's time to address the elephant in the room. This thing has ghastly mini keys that everybody hates. But I have an idea. Why don't we get some mini people with mini hands and then maybe these mini keys will be much more playable? And now it's time to do one of my classic hardware versus software audio comparisons. 
What we've done is connected this one to the PC and done some recordings. And then, well, you know how I do these by now, I think. We'll compare this one with a new Native Instruments sample library called The Tiny. So as you probably heard, there were some rather significant differences between the hardware and the software in that test. Now, there are some reasons for this. The first one is that the software version has a different velocity curve. That one goes up to 10, whereas the real hardware piano, that one goes all the way to 11. Also, there is a difference in the DACs, the digital audio collaborators. On the software version, there are only 16 bits, but on this one, the hardware, there are not so many bits. Or actually, there's more bits. There's infinite bits. You couldn't even count them, even if you wanted to. And I've saved the best for last. This piano only cost $12, and small children really, really love it. So what's not to like? That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Expect to see a lot more of the Beckstein in upcoming videos where I'll be performing some classical piano recitals. Until then, thanks for watching, thanks for liking and subscribing, all that good stuff. I'll see you again soon. Cheerio.